Hi guys! Hi! Hi! What's up? What's up? Hey everybody, welcome back to this week's show. We are definitely doing something that we have never done before. We're actually doing a rabbit hunt with beagles today and I am super excited about it because all the years that I've been hunting, I've hunted rabbits so many times, they're absolutely awesome to eat, but I've never hunted behind dogs. And we have got some great dogs. Gary's hunting with us today, and he's got six beagles, and he's got these things trained absolutely awesome. We're gonna be hunting with our good friends, Terry and Rick, and Rick's daughter from the Bite Me Box. So, you know, I got a feeling if these guys hunt as good as they fish, it is going to be an amazing morning. So hang on to your heinies. Young one, that's Elsa. The red collar one, that's Yolanda. She's the oldest one. And How now old is she? She's about nine. And then that's Zippy. She's about seven and a half. Old oh, Zippy. One, yeah. My money's on Zippy today, folks. Yeah. Right? They love to go. They love to hunt. You know, that's what they're raised and trained for. You know, they're. But they're also. My friends, I mean, they... We, you love these dogs. I do, I do right. have a lot of time and invested in them and money, and, and it's not just that, it's the attachment. If I didn't right. come home with one of them... It would be not good. Be no. Mm -hmm. yeah. So when do, you, when do I know that I have the confidence oh. to shoot the rabbit? Easy, because the dogs, a lot of people think the dogs are going to be right... That's what rabbit. I'm thinking, no. they're going to be right on their hindies. The dogs are going to be behind the rabbits 40, 50 yards most okay. times. Will they be barking all the time? Right, so bark, I'll no, know. No, they'll they won't. bark when they're on the track. Okay. If, if, they, if the rabbit turns, what we call check, then um, the dogs will take a little while to recover. They don't bark during that time. Okay. Some dogs, they, these guys won't. They, they won't bark again until they recover the line and then they go again. Right. <laughs> and males or females, it doesn't matter to you? Or You gotta check them before you shoot well, them. Well, I know, that's what I'm asking. <laughs> well, the dogs don't. The dogs a certain bark on a male. There you go. There. <laughs> and do not shoot my jackal. Oh. oh. He, he is on the no hit list. I am. That thing is an up and comer that I just don't, I don't want to see that shot. Well, there's a lot of rules and regulations here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, I'm ready when you are. Here we go. There we go. I'll tell you what, I'm excited to listen to it. Hear them dogs? They're on some rabbits. So let's get, let's get set up. Listening. Oh, I don't hear him. Oh, here he comes, here he comes. How did that happen? Wide open. Top of them like three times. Let's go. 
and he came running right down the trail and then he stood up on his hind legs. <laughs> Boom! Oh, Watch how far the shot is. <laughs> yeah. Nice. That was fun. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty cool. He's got the 50 cent piece tail. Yeah, that's what we're looking for. <laughs> Nice. I think we got another one coming. That's up, M8. Hip, 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 hip. Oh. Oh, good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Busy morning. Come on. Let's go. I think that rabbit I just shot could possibly could be, be the one there. they've been on all morning. So. Mostly morning, yeah. Well, I'm glad we finally got it because they've been busy for hours. <laughs> there we just went round and round and round and round. People don't understand these rabbits are a little bit smarter, you know, than you think they are. You know, it's just not an easy thing. You got a lot of really great cover here, and uh, these dogs are chasing the rabbits, but they're way ahead of them. And they, as soon as they come to the edge right there, they cut right back into the thick stuff. So we did have one go right across the open here, which we weren't watching. It should have been a gibby. So, but I think it's fun because I've seen four or five rabbits already. You've seen. I've seen four or five. Yep. So could have taken a couple of shots, but it would have been in toward where the dogs are. So yep. Didn't didn't take that shot. Just like you said, you got to be patient. And let them come around. I guess. Yeah. And the part is he's got six dogs. So you know, once these three get tired out, let them rest back up and get three fresh ones in here. Eventually, a rabbit is going to make a mistake. Right. They always do. Or we're going to do the right thing next time if you watch it behind us. Right. <laughs> Here he goes. To the dogs. There you go. Here. That one would have got away. Right behind the front shoulder. Come here, 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 come. Come on, girls, come. Thanks. I'm thinking this is a lot more fun. I knew it was gonna be fun, but this is a lot more fun than you would ever ever imagine. Very cool. Hunting with beagles for rabbits. Yeah. Here he comes, here he comes. I just I just saw him. Coming at you, Alicia. Right here, right here, right here, right here. See him, see him. Got him. <laughs> You're missing that one. That was kind of crazy. Yeah, we got him.
What do you think? It's a nice body. Here he goes. He's going in the brush. <laughs> Swing and a miss. Oh, I'm very excited. This is super cool, I can tell you that. You know, it's amazing, you know. This year, doing a lot more squirrel hunting, now doing some rabbit hunting. And, uh, you know, you wouldn't think with all the big game hunting that we do nowadays that this would be this uh, that exciting, but this is unbelievable. You're on it. Oh, good. Oh, good, good girl. Look at you. Oh, good girl. Good girl. Great dogs. But I can tell you this. You can tell that Gary spends a lot of time with them dogs. You know, them are like part of his family. So definitely you got to be very cautious. There's quite a few rabbits that we could have shot at already, but it's not worth it not even thinking about taking the chance. But very cool to see somebody very passionate about a sport and to, to be able to you know actually have him come and, and hunt with us and uh, show us the things that he loves to do and I'll pass on some of the knowledge. Is, uh, it's been pretty pretty interesting day so far. The key so far is really, you know, this morning um, I saw a lot of rabbits and uh, just didn't want to take the chance of, I was a little nervous too about shooting not knowing where the dogs were. Now I realize that most of the time, most of the time, that the rabbit is usually about 60 yards, 80, 60 to 80 yards in front of the dogs. But the key is definitely being in a little bit of cover on the edge of it and actually being quiet and not moving a lot too. It's amazing, the rabbits, they're a lot smarter than you think they are. is for one to put back up in the scent. It's interesting when they lose the scent that how they all spread out. Now you're thinking they're gonna come back. It's hard to hold. It's right there, right there. Go, 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 go. Thing. I'll tell you what, this whole day has been absolutely teamwork with everybody, you know, to be able to put this all together and to capture as many really cool shots as we did today definitely took teamwork. We had two camera guys, ran one drone pretty much all the time, and five really good hunters that a lot of patience, you know, not taking the shots unless they were absolutely perfect.
gun. Yes. Wow, I didn't expect that hey. one. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I think I got him. Let's go see. You're about to shoot him like, just give me one second. Here we are telling hunting stories. Turn over and here comes a rabbit. Oh yeah. I think I see him. Where'd that one come He came running right down the right along the pond. Oh yeah. Good shot. Nice. Yeah, he almost got away. Very cool. That was pretty neat. That was very cool. Love it. This is so much fun. I haven't beagle hunted like that in years, and, and uh, what a great idea. This was fun. Hey everybody, what an awesome day we had yesterday out rabbit hunting with the boys. You know what, that was the first time I ever got to experience hunting with beagles. I don't know if you guys can see or not, but I've got three dogs already. Boy, if it was up to me, I would probably get three more and they would probably be beagles for sure. A big thing for me is either I will skin them in the field or what I'll do is I'll bring them back home and it was plenty cold enough. It was below freezing last night. I brought these rabbits into the shop. You know what, and I like to make sure of most of the time this time of year, you don't have to worry about fleas, but rabbits do carry a lot of fleas. But rabbit also is a simple animal to clean and they are absolutely delicious. Basically all I do is make a little incision on them. Go right down the back. If they were warm, it is always easier to skin an animal when it's warm. A lot more pulling than cutting when you're cleaning rabbits. This is what I do right to here. So I always keep a good container here and I throw all my carcasses in there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop this down. Now this is what I like to use. The old Milwaukee Sawzall. Go into the lake. Done. 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 Now what I'll do is I'll clean them all. So what I'll do, just real quick, singe the rest of that hair. So when it comes to gutting them, basically I just go right down the rib cage right here, come right back down, open it up like that, go right down the center. I'll bring them in the house and wash them all up. I like to get all the fat, cutting the ribs off, coming right straight down. Opening that up, it pays to have a good sharp knife. What I like to do is I like to chunk them up. Doesn't look very appetizing right now. Once they're cleaned up, be game on. All right, I got everything all chunked up right there. I'm gonna go in the house, clean it up, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna soak these overnight in salt water to draw all that blood out of there. Hey, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, you know, we'll see you guys uh, in the studio when we get the deep fryer going. You know, you can see now that how that I soaked this meat overnight, uh, the rabbit overnight in salt water and how it took all the blood out of there. A lot of that stuff where the BBs had hit the meat, it was bloodshot. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna do a, a simple marinade, uh, w which works out really good, helps break it down. And then we're gonna deep fry it, is I'm gonna take the rabbit, I'm gonna take I'm going to do half and half here. Just put it in little Ziploc bags here. Because I'm going to put the soy in there. Add a bunch of soy. I'm going to add a little bit of oil. A little bit of lime. This is key right here. And you don't want it marinating more than a couple hours. An hour is almost perfect. And then just a little bit, you can use either apple or regular white vinegar. Hey, I'll tell you what, the rabbit is ready to roll. We had it marinated for about an hour. And uh, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it in a breading and basically whatever your favorite breading is. I use the same kind of breading you would use uh, when you're doing your fish. So I'm gonna grab a couple pieces out of the marinade bag. I've got the charred deep fryer all fired up. I uh, usually about maybe three, four minutes and it's ready to go. I got the oil set at 325 to 350. And again, by marinating it, you're breaking everything down. Okay, these two pieces are definitely done. The finished product right there.
Now that is absolutely delicious. Remember, we are still living in the greatest country in the world, and no doubt, it is a great day to be alive, and we'll see you guys next week.